Is the bosch bullish today or are we seeing profit takers back in the market already? Well, well today was marked more by uh, profit taking as um, investors basically cashed in on a lot of the profits, especially in the banking sector, uh, which they had um, accrued over the last couple of trading sessions. Uh, the profit taking wasn't um, restricted to the banking sector alone. Uh, we saw sort of um, uh, weak trading in a lot of the other sectors as uh, investors just basically took the opportunity um, to cut down um, where they had made profits and uh, basically wait, you know, to sort of see um, where, you know, broader direction um, will come from for the market. Well, I'm seeing a trend where, where the week will begin on a positive note. Midweek there is profit taking and it ends on a profit taking note as well. Is that the trend that you're also seeing currently in Nigeria at the moment? Well, yeah, yes. Um, I think investors are looking for a bit more conviction um, in terms of the sort of information, in terms of um, the sort of economic data that's coming out, and in terms of broad policy direction. Um, a, a, a big positive, of course, has been you know, the banking sector reforms, which appear to be coming uh, to an end. Uh, there are also a lot of other positives. You know, the price of oil, for instance, is, um, is good for the economy, and a, a lot of the developments in terms of the Niger Delta um, on the other hand, there are concerns about liquidity. Um, there are still concerns about the banks because whilst you know, a, a number of banks have been cleared, there's still no clarity as to the sort of provisions that uh, the CBN has required of the banks. So it's really hard to make a case for one bank as against the other or to really price in risk even though most of the banks, I mean, even though there's clarity as to which banks have been cleared. So it's becoming a bit of a yo-yo. There's a lot of volatility. And um, whilst investors realize that you know, valuations are quite attractive, especially when you compare the NSC to its frontier markets and emerging market comparables, it's still hard, you know, to select a portfolio basically, you know, yeah. because a lot of the underlying risks have not quite, you know, um, been communicated and investors are not able to price them in as effectively. Uh, I mean, that's with regard to the banking sector, of course. Maybe you can shed some light, Deji. When will conviction enter the market, like you said? Well, it's, um, it's, you know, it's, it's a slightly difficult one to say. Um, I think there's um, no doubt that the broader direction for the market from where we are is positive, you know, when you're looking into the medium term. Um, but in the interim, you know, there are a number of issues yet to hit the market. Um, on the one part, some investors are concerned about, you know, the um, government's deregulation policy for the petroleum marketing sector and sort of um, um, the sort of reactions, you know, that may arise uh, to that. Of course, there's the year-end harmonization as well for the banks, um, which, you know, going by history, you know, you find that banks um, start to mobilize deposits um, quite aggressively or uh, basically um, shorten the liquidity within the market. There's, of course, the bond issuance by a lot of banks, which, you know, investors fear some money will have to come out of the equity market to fund. You know, so there are those risks. Um, so whilst, you know, there's the broad trend, which is positive in terms of expectations for the market, it's... Um, in, in terms of timing the market, uh, there's a lot of difficulty. And so what investors really need to be doing is to, take in, is to be taking medium to long term positions on the market and not trying to time, you know, uh, weekly movements, but basically take a broader, uh, broader positions. Yeah. Well, let's look at the banking industry quickly. The uh, report's coming out saying there's going to be mass retrenchments in the banking industry purely to make it, keep it competitive. How is the banking sector reacting to this? Well, uh, I mean, massive retrenchments, I think um, it's generally viewed as a way of cutting costs. Um, investors, you know, will likely, whilst, you know, it might not uh, come in as very positive news in terms of the cost structure of a lot of banks, uh, it may be viewed as positive, um, given that it would um, um, result in more profits for banks, basically. And the issue really is that um, a lot of the strategies, a lot of the expectations uh, that banks had um, had formulated um, appear to be quite optimistic at the moment, given the state of the economy, and you know, given the drop in credits, um, given the, the basic performance of you know corporate Nigeria, which has dwindled uh, with liquidity tightness and um, with the credit issues that the bank faced. Um, as such, you know, the banks are having to reappraise a lot of those strategies, and one of the issues is you know that they have been um, bearing a lot of costs, you know, uh, which they felt comfortable doing because of their very optimistic expectations in the past. Yeah. But those have been cut down and there's a need to now look back at costs and look at ways to cut those down. 
Let's look at Bank PHB and Spring Bank. Uh, the suspension was lifted off these banks. How did they fare today? Well, the suspension was lifted today. Uh, both closed uh, four marks down, of course. Um, the NSC had put them on suspension um, recently, basically um, after their um, executives were taken off. Um, basically, um, it's, it's a difficult one to say because at the time uh, the issue was of you know, share price manipulation uh, because um, a lot of the events had been fresh at the time. But it's important you know, when these banks are being put um, back on trading that information be provided really. Um, one of the issues, one of the um, positive things in putting them on suspension is the fact that there isn't much information and investors are not really able to price the risks inherent in those banks. Right. And one would have hoped that at the point when they're being put off suspension, that more um, information is provided, or you know, bas a basic snapshot of the financial positions of those banks, so that investors, you know, are able to really price in the All risks right, and know if yeah. they need to be exiting mm -hmm. in a hurry.